Another proposed change relates to photoluminescent or glow-in-the-dark exit signs. These signs aren't new and photoluminescent exit signs have been a deemed to satisfy or DTS solution in NCC Volume 1 since 2014. Specification 25 sets out the requirements for photoluminescent exit signs, except it was written for externally charged signs. This is because when these provisions were prepared, those were the sort of signs that were available. A photoluminescent exit sign won't glow in the dark unless it's been charged by a light source. So specification 25 requires a dedicated light to shine on the sign to keep it charged, as well as setting out some other parameters about size and brightness. Since 2014, hybrid photoluminescent exit signs have become available. These signs have an internal light source to keep them charged. Because they are photoluminescent exit signs, specification 25 currently applies to them. But these requirements aren't ideal because they were written for a different technology. What is ideal for hybrid photoluminescent exit signs is Standards Australia Technical Specification 5367. This specification was written especially for hybrid photoluminescent exit signs and is benchmarked off specification 25. So this proposed change for the next edition of the NCC is to reference Technical Specification 5367 for hybrid photoluminescent exit signs. In developing this proposed change, we consulted with members of our Peak Technical Committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC. The proposed change referencing SATS 5367 in E4D8 for hybrid photoluminescent exit signs is designed to make the NCC DTS provisions fit for purpose. This change is cost effective and will benefit industry. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1 May to 1 July 2024. We look forward to your input.